Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the East Carolina Pirates and the Florida Gators. Number 33 is a freshman standout who will get a lot of our attention tonight. Whether he's putting up a J, driving in a bucket, or making a nice pass, you don't like seeing him with the ball if you're a defender. The Gators will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Gators are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Thirdly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The power forward takes the feed. And he'll kick it back outside. Now the high screen. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Hard foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard with the ball. There's the screen up on top. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. The center gets the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 34, pump fakes. The fake. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as well, man. Fading away, impossible to block. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw some contact. It sticks. Watch again. May is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Way off. Great play to take that to the basket. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Long down court pass. Goes in. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And we got a whistle and a foul. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. The Gators will step to the line for the first time. Routine. Second one is good. Seven unanswered. 
Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Up and inside. From the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Lobs it. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. There's a high screen. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. Try to feed the low block. Goes up for two. Time to pick up the defense here now. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Top of the circle. Florida are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're trying to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Moving it around the perimeter. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They move it into the front court. The Pirates have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And now they'll bring it up. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. On the dribble, gives it up. A little frustration right there. Down inside, turns it over. Perkins, his modest play, is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotionally, he couldn't be much lower, I don't think. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Goes. Go into the low block, tries for two, perfectly executed. Stolen ball, and again they look. Ooh, look at the shot block, but it got some contact. Nice hops. They work the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sinks it.
Working it around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Great anticipation defensively. The small forward takes the pass. Ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. And in and out. He does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Shoots from outside. Florida are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Another turnover. They're not talking out for turnovers either. Trying to draw the foul. What should they do here, Dick? Let go of timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He intercepts it. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. the low post defensively great anticipation in the steal you can see they did a great job studying in film they anticipated that ball coming to that post gave it up the small forward gets the pass wow what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper both teams looking to get things going here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Got some room. One too many dribbles and a steal on the dribble. Gives it up. Whistled for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 34 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. Good teams will get to the line often. But getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Florida are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Yes, two at the charity strike.
Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Great shot. That's a 7 0 run. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They get out on the break. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Got the high pick. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's crazy in here, Brad. it up here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer jumps into the defender he might be on his way to a career game partner well he will Brad if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry on the dribble gives it up tries for two perfectly executed Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. You betcha. There's the trap. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dump it inside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He's got a nice shot fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Look at that spacing. Stop and pop. He gets it to fall. in front to take it away. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. They look like they're having a blast. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He makes the shot. They'll work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working it around the perimeter. He fires away. The Gators have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot.
whistle away and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. They can't find an empty seat. Steals a pass. On the outside, he fires from long range. Gets it to go. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They work it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Here's the replay. Territory. He shows the sweet touch. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. And back they come the other way. Going to move it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Dump it inside. Nice high post screen. Doesn't go. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Tickles the twine. From three-point land. It's good. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. He's money with the shot. He puts it up, sinks the shot. Shot clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fake. He tries the hook shot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. At the end of the first half, the Pirates trail by 21. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? Hey, as we take a look at this dunk, Brad, I have to say nothing gets a college crowd into a game like the dunk. This one's certainly no exception, baby. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Florida displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. 
Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think he got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Look at this effort! Picks off the pass. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. For the bucket, the land. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the block. Hey, let me tell you, he earned that trifecta. He earned it. Give him a hug. He earned that, baby. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. He's open if he wants the shot. He lets it go. Way off target. They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Puts it up looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Wow, that was a classic alley-oop. Hey, the finger went up in the air before the screen was set. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. On the outside, three, he gets the bucket to fall. They work it back to the outside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. It. That was nice. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. High post screen. So effective, that screen. The point guard gets the pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. the perimeter. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. High post screen. Going to use it. 
Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. There they come with a double team to stop it. Ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. He puts up the three ball. Makes the shot. They're trying to make a statement. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. the dribble gives it up takes the shot he rips the nets for another score he's absolutely unconscious <laughs> takes away the pass they push it up on the break Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Inside. The center has gone wild. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. They'll work it around the arc. In the paint. Pressure that basketball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Looking to move it around the perimeter. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He misses the first shot. Misses the second shot. He takes the board. Here's a double team. There he is, strips the ball loose. up for two. Florida have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. 
for the bucket. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not putting him down with ease, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Foul called. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll visit the charity strike. Makes his first. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They scored nine in a row. Puts up the tray. There was no doubt about that one. Take a look right here. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Well, the Rowdy Reptiles in Gainesville are going bananas. He makes the block. He makes the shot. That's an eight nothing run. They work the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes for the deep one. Nice shot. Shoots way off target. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Stolen away. Welch, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. Basket falls despite the contact. But inside on the dribble gives it up the ball goes out of bounds all right let's check in third member of our team again and here's Aaron Andrews guys he seemed very focused from the beginning his game face was on and he understands it's his time to perform let's send it back to you excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps is foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Wow, let's check out the replay.
He pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Florida and put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. With the fake, fires away. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. You betcha. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. The Gators have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Double team now, bad angle. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Scorches the net. The Gators are ahead by 28. On the inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. There's the trap. He wants a three. Gets it to go. For two, contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He got his jumper off by running at the feather into the screen. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. He gets that one to fall. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. On the outside. There's a double team waiting there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Knocks it down. the dribble gives it up leaning in trying to draw contact he intercepts it looking for the foul goes in Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. He hits the shot. Put 
puts it up. Greens it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. With a bucket, and in and out. Picked off. On the outside. On the top of the circle. Sinks the shot. Template the game really important. There's the rejection. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. performance has just gotten in his head. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's been a step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Oh, what a strip, Red. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Up and inside. Steals a pass. Shot clock is dead. Had a momentary look from three-point land. We're going to move it around the perimeter. High post screen. court our focus player update our final one of the ball game and he led his team to victory well i'll tell you nine out of ten times if the focus player plays well you're going to get to the winner's circle Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Florida made this one look embarrassing.